guys, I'm here to do yet another tag video. Um, it's not too long after I did the previous tag, um, but this one probably won't be up till later. I have little Talia here, and she is wearing the onesie that we got from Auntie Yvonne. It's pink, it says the perfect princess on it, and has a Cinderella silhouette on it. And she's staying here in my lap. She's so cute. And, um, yeah, I actually finished that episode of once upon a time and what do you do when you still have three weeks to the premiere why you start the series over i'm watching the pilot now and there's our lovely robert carlyle as rumpelstiltskin that man is brilliant he actually just directed a movie love him anyway um so this is a 21 question tag that I found on my Sweet Cupcakes channel, but she got it from someone else's channel. It's not Reborn related, but I think it'll help you guys um, get to know some things about me. It's pretty fun. So, and you have to do it as fast as possible. I think you have to do it in less than 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and start. First question, what is your best feature? Um, I think definitely my hair. I love my hair. I used to hate it. Um, I hated it when I got curly, but then I learned to love it, and now I just love it curly, and I don't want it to go straight, which my hairdresser said that's possible because, um, like, if I have a baby, the hormonal change may cause my hair to go straight, which I really don't want to happen because I love my curls. Uh, number two, when, do you, when you are driving, do you listen to radio, CD, or nothing? Um, I usually listen to the radio, or I listen to my phone, um, music on my phone. I'll plug my phone in and listen to the music on there. And I'm usually listening to rock, alternative, the occasional pop, I must admit, um, and uh, classical. Or show tunes. If I'm on my phone, I usually listen to show tunes. I love show tunes. I love musicals. Okay, number three. Do you prefer a window seat, booth seat, or wall seat, or out in the, or out in the aisle in a restaurant? Um, I like window seats because I like to look out the window. I also like booth seats. I don't really like aisle seats because I feel like I'm going to be hit. Um, and I don't really like wall seats because I feel kind of confined if I'm in a wall seat. <laughs> Four, how do you relieve stress? A um, couple things. I will hold my Reborns, change my Reborns, you know, cuddle them. Um, I will listen to music. I will play music. Like play one of my instruments or I will write. Uh, five, what is your favorite TV show or movie as a child? Um, I loved a lot of TV shows when I was a kid. I loved Powerpuff Girls, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, it was probably my favorite show. Me and my two neighbors, we just loved that show and we actually looked like Boss and Bubbles and Buttercup, only instead of having black hair, I have brown hair. But we would play Powerpuff Girls, and that's who we would be. And um, I loved that show. I also loved Disney animated shows like Kim Possible. Loved that show. Proud Family. Um, Boy Meets World. I did love. I loved Boy Meets World. And then like when more of that live action one came out, came out like like that's a Raven. I loved that show. And I'd watch uh, Sister Sister. Um, Pretty much any of the Disney shows I watched. Okay, um, movies. I pretty much liked Disney movies. Uh, when I was really little, I loved the Disney movies. And then I started to like more of the live action movies, but I still loved the Disney movies. Um, pretty much any movie I saw, I really liked. Six. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, when I was really little, probably like four. Um, I wanted to be a princess and a veterinarian, and then when I got a little older, about six or seven, I wanted to be a baby nurse, and um, I wanted to be a mom. Still do, actually. Number seven. Best prank you pulled off or someone pulled on you? Um, I was never really a prankster. I've never really pulled a prank on anybody, um, and I haven't really had any pranks pulled on me. I've had people say things, you know, them being sarcastic, and I believed them. Um, I was just gullible. I was just really gullible. So they'd say something ridiculous and I'd believe them. Can't really think of any examples offhand, uh, but yeah, I was a pretty gullible kid. 
Number eight, if you could play any instrument, what it, would it be? I already play instruments. I play flute and piano. I do want to play guitar. I have a guitar. It's been sitting in its box for like two years and I have not touched it. And I am thinking about selling it, but my boyfriend tells me not to because he's going to teach me how to play, but we just have no time for that right now. Number nine, if you could live in one city for the rest of your life, where would it be? Um, I don't know if I'd want to live in my current city. I mean, I like it, but I don't know if I want to live here for the rest of my life. Um, there are cities I want to go to that I say I would like to live in for the rest of my life, but watch me go there one day and say I'd hate to live here. Um, so of the cities I've been to, I'd probably want to live in Orlando, mainly because of Disney World. Hello. <laughs> um, uh, not because of the rain, because I don't like rain. Um, and I probably would come up here for winters because I love winters up here. Which is funny because usually most people in the area are the opposite. <laughs> they will spend their winters down in Florida and not here. But I just love the snow too much and the cold weather too much. So I would miss the winters here. Uh, number 10. What was the worst thing your mother ever did that embarrassed you as a child? I really don't know. I don't have any big examples offhand, really. I honestly don't know. Probably talking about something you know, something that I did or said or like, okay, if there are any guys watching this, which I hope there are not, but I know my boyfriend probably is, uh, you may not want to hear this part, but like when, um, but like when I started my period, she went around telling people and I was embarrassed by that. <laughs> so that's probably the biggest thing. Number 11, do you sleep with the doors open or closed? I sleep with them closed. I used to not be able to sleep with them closed, but now I can, and that's the only way I can sleep. Number 12, have you ever stolen a street sign? No, but my dad has, and he made it our little craft table when we were kids. Number 13, have you ever peed in the woods? I think everyone has peed in the woods, whether they want to admit it or not, whether on purpose or on a dare. Um, the only time I've ever done it was if we were like deep in the woods as a kid and I had to pee and it was too far to go back. <laughs> um, that would be the only time. Normally I would not do it though. Uh, number 14, what are you afraid of most? Insects, snakes, or spiders? Um, I love, I hate all be all bugs, but spiders pretty much take the cake. Um, and I also hate but like bees and wasps and anything that stings. Uh, 15, what size bed do you sleep in? I sleep in a full bed. 16, best concert you ever attended. I don't know if this counts, but the second half of the show was pretty much like a rock concert, so I'm just gonna say that this was the best one. Um, I would have to say that it's Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I saw them last year with my boyfriend and his family, and the first half was like the, what the theme of the concert was. And um, the second half was seriously like a rock concert. It was awesome. And that was probably the best concert I've ever been to. Um, but I've only really been to one stage concert. Um, and I'll get to that later because that's a question. Number 17, when was the last time you actually wrote a written letter? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. It's been that long. Uh, like, I'll write... I've written letters like in my journal, but it's never been like, I've never sent them to people. Okay, number 18, how many languages can you speak? I can speak two, I can speak English and French. 19, do you have any children? No, but I want to. 20, can you curl your tongue? Yes, I can. And 21, last question, what was your first concert and who was it? So this concert was a birthday gift from my ex at the time, from my boyfriend at the time. Um, this was several years ago, 2010 maybe? Yeah, 2010, wow. Um, and it was Paramore. I loved Paramore, love, love, loved them. Um, I don't love them as much as I do because, you know, two of the members left and they kind of went a little more pop and are not as alternative as they used to be. And at this concert, there were three other opening acts because it was part of like a tour. And there was a band called Katawatha and then uh, a band called New Found Glory, which they were actually big back in the early 2000s. Um, then Tegan and Sarah. And that's where I first fell in love with Tegan and Sarah was at that concert. So 
I thank Paramore for disca for um, introducing me to Tegan and Sarah. Just I love them. Uh, I love Tegan and Sarah now. And uh, yeah, it was a terrible concert. I'm never going to another one because it was an this concert was seriously. It started at like three, and uh, where it was held. The, it was it was covered, but like when the sun, the, it was like incredibly hot because it was mid August, and then when the sun started going down, the sun when it was setting, it was beating like right on everybody in there, and oh my god, it was so hot and miserable. Never going to another concert as long as I live. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, those are my answers to the twenty one questions. Um, I'd love to hear your answers. I managed to get this in in just under 10 minutes because I talked about a minute before I started answering the questions. So yeah, I'd love to hear all of your guys' answers. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.